Today, music tech fans, we're going to take a look at the ES2 and use some of its powerful frequency modulation capabilities to work on some nasty mid rangey dubstep bass sounds. Um, to begin with, we need to make sure that you have dialed up your sine wave default uh, preset sound here. Um, this is to allow us a blank canvas to work with so we can create our sound from scratch. You may well of course have saved it as a different name but hopefully you'll know what I'm referring to here. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we set oscillator 1 over here to minus 24 since that's two octaves down so I'm just going to click on that to set that and that will allow us a wide range of frequency modulation to play with a wide frequency range um, I'm going to make sure that oscillator 2 is set to naught over here and then I'm going to actually dial in some frequency modulation to do that we need to make sure that we click and glide this round here now we're not going to notice the effect of this until we actually open up the second oscillator which we're going to do now and here we're going to take advantage of some of the digi waves in logic I'm going to click on the button and drag around here until I get to sign then I'm going to option click on sign or right click which will open up this list of digi waves to us I'm going to pick one of the organ waves to start with now you can hear we're getting a nasty, rich kind of sound there. If I toy with the frequency modulation, you can see we get a whole range of different mid-range harmonics coming through for us to play with. I'm going to keep this fairly high. And gradually we're going to work with the filter section to cut some of these away. So the next thing I need to do then is to target this LFO2, low frequency of oscillator 2, to the filter section here. So I need to select the target first. I'm going to select cut off 1 and 2 and I need to make the source LFO2. I'm going to use LFO2 because this will allow us to tempo sync the oscillation so we can, we'll have a look down here at how this is going to work. I'm going to set this to quarter note triplets to start off with and we're going to stay with our sine wave to make nice uh, smooth even oscillations there. <laughs> Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere with our sound. Now I'm going to also adjust the cutoff point a bit here to focus more on the lower range. And now what I want to do is another little trick that I've discovered recently, thank you to the mighty YouTube. Um, which is we're going to target the pitch of oscillator 2 and we're going to use LFO1 we're also going to include the mid wheel, mod wheel here and what we're going to do is LFO1 is going to be used to change the pitch now if you have a listen to this if we have a low frequency rate this creates quite a weird sound this is not really what we're after very slow moving pitch what we're going to do is ramp the rate up as high as we can and you get a nice bit of fat detuning effect I'm going to keep it fairly subtle and if I want to make it more extreme then I can use the mod wheel to do that I'm also just going to pull down the cut up a bit there Fabulous. One more thing I want to do here is I want to add a little bit of extra low end strength to the sound. We're going to take advantage of oscillator 3 here. I'm going to drop that by an octave. And what we're going to do is 
try one of these waveforms in here. Now, if I drag this node down from the top here, this, is, this node here um, allows me to toy with the balance between the three different oscillators. So let's have a listen to this sound on its own. Got a bit of warmth to it. And that will help add a bit of extra low end depth and body to the sound. Now I'm going to pull the other sounds in a bit. So we've got quite a nice balance there, I think. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at is perhaps adding a bit of distortion to the whole sound. Don't want it too bright because I want to be able to keep it. So I'm going to pull that down a little bit. The one final thing that's really worth experimenting with here is using unison mode. And using unison mode will uh, create an extra level of fatness to the sound. What it does is it stacks up each of these oscillators on top of each other. Here's without the unison mode, and this is with it activated. If you increase the number of voices, I'm going to move up 16 voices and select mono here. Then we've really got a super rich fat bass sound. If I increase the amount of analog here, that increases the detune between those different oscillators. Creating, as you can hear, even richer and more varied tone colors. So it's up to you to dial in whatever you fancy for your uh, crazy bass lines. So this is just a basic introduction to how you can access some of the frequency modulation in the ES2 and use it to musical effect with dubstep bass sounds. Needless to say, feel free to mess around with any of these parameters, experiment with the digi waves. There's a lot of fun to be had with them.